We team up with the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando every week at this time to bring you Ask a Vet, Your Well Pet. I'm Kirsten O'Connor, joined by Dr. Don Keenan and a little kitty here who's a rascal. Yes. Last week we were talking about issues fireworks can cause for our animals. So this week we want to talk to you about what you can do for next time. And there are some options. Yes. So now that we're through the holiday um, and you discovered that your pet has a firework phobia, now you can start planning for the next holiday. And there is um, short-term and long-term options, and um, treatment will um, have behavior modification and often anti-anxiety medications as well. So is it better for pet owners to focus on short-term or long-term solutions? Well, short-term could be appropriate if your pet only has a firework phobia, and because those um, events are predictable and infrequent. But if your pet has a severe phobia of the fireworks or other anxieties like separation anxiety or storm phobias, it's much better to focus on a long-term solution. We do have storms here. This is the season for them. Yes. So definitely mm -hmm. something good to talk about. Let's talk more about behavior modification. So how does it work? So usually it entails um, two things, desensitization and counter conditioning. Desensitization is exposing your pet to low levels of what makes them anxious and increasing that amount over time as they remain calm to get them used to the sounds or the anxiety that um, they have. Um, counter conditioning is trying to refocus your pet um, and um, had them remain calm by giving them um, enjoyable things during the um, anxiety. So that could be um, focusing your pet with a lot of high value, good tasting treats um, <laughs> to distract right. them from the right? anxiety. Or if your pet likes to do treats, you can work on your um, tricks um, and um, during the um, fireworks. Or you can um, even um, play some music and um, try and keep them calm. All right, so lots of good ideas. You did mention some medications before. Um, how are those used? Yeah, so we mentioned them last time as a short-term medication like Xanax. Um, that would be used um, where you would have a predictable event and you can give the um, medications just prior to it. Oh. But um, often with um, behavior modification, you do need anxiety medications to help the pet learn the behavior modification. So in those cases, you're often looking at fluoxetine or um, Prozac or a Trazodone, which can be used on a long-term basis. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Keenan, for joining us. And if you want more information about keeping your pet healthy, we'll connect you to the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando through our website. Click Orlando.com. Just click on the Lifestyle tab.